talk about whole bone and short line pretty much this is what a whole bone and short line looks like usda choice black angus the best cow to buy pretty much when you're buying beef and this is what it looks like this is where you'll get your porterhouse from this is where you get your t-bone from this is what you get your new york stir from and also your filet mignon so this meat it's very very tender everyone knows how great new york strips is and this is what it looks like whole and when you're buying meat always try to make sure it's usda choice because that's you know that meat was inspected for quality and tenderness and everything see very soft piece of meat right here is where you have your filet mignon all the way to here all right and right here is where the new york strip is so back here will be the new york strip all right that'll be the new york strip and when you cut it with the bone in it, the f like the first five steaks will be considered a porterhouse. Then afterwards, it'll be T-bone, T-bone. When you reach to the back, it'll be bone in New York strip. All right, so porterhouse, T-bone, bone in New York strip. Or if you take the bone out, this would be the filet mignon right here. All right, so a lot of times, that's how people like to buy the porterhouse because they actually get the filet mignon. So if you actually like filet mignon, it's about better to buy a porterhouse because you actually get a better price because the porterhouse is usually about $11.99 a pound and the filet mignon is usually about $20 a pound so it's definitely cheaper just buy the porterhouse and New York strip I mean it's a great steak very very tender very popular steak so this is where the strip is so you just bone it out I'm gonna have a video coming up on how to bone it out so this is what a whole bone in t-bone look like or a short loin don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and have a wonderful day.